now. Who you heard the song? Now. We had a small um, sweet ceremony a few minutes ago and I was sharing with them that <laughs> the Master is worthy of our devotion, of our trust and our love because it is only the Master which not just takes us beyond the personal, you see? not just takes us um, from this locus of the me as I call it out of this me into something else in the world but it is only the master which takes us out of this world you see? Mm -hmm. to that reality which is forever unchanging so many times the guru is referred to as a light you see but the guru is much greater than any light that we can fathom because even the brightest light in the light of the sun the manifest comes alive You can have the brightest light and you will get to see more and more of the manifest. But in the Guru's light, you see yourself you see, beyond the manifest. So beautiful is that. And of course the Guru is not just the form of the Master. But on this day we celebrate the form of the Master. You see, and we use that as a representation to bow down and to give our gratitude to that which seems to appear as a form but takes us to the formless. So in this life there has been no greater gift than the Master. So not only does the Master take us beyond this manifest realm, but also we can surrender the manifest to the Master. And what else can we really need in life? That which shows us that which is beyond the coming and going of this universe. But also we can surrender every thing that we think we have in our life to Him, to Her, whatever the form may be. You see? So, when we say Guru Kripa Kevalam, you see, you're saying that we surrender everything that appears in this life to you at your feet. You are taking care of it now. Nothing is there for me to do. So both surrender and self-knowledge are the grace of this Master. And that is why on this auspicious uh, day of Guru Purnima, you all blessed. I was also sharing that it is very rare, you see, because most of us, I've been sharing about this, that most of us actually need a, a want, a God-assisted life. You see, we want the Guru or God to help us in our life in some way. And we feel like it's another aspect of the manifest creation, which is like a, almost like a cheat code in this manifest world we enter. Guru Kripa Kevalam and everything will go according to what our mind wants. You see? So we want the assistance of God. We want God or Guru to be an assistant. But the minute uh, we realize that it is not according to what our mind wants, you see? the outcomes or what plays out is according to the supreme intelligence of the Master Himself. You see? Then there can be some fear that comes. You see? There can be some concern, but this is not what I wanted. These kind of resistances can come. You see, so I wanted to thank the sangha for their openness because it is not easy in a way to let go of all, especially this aspect that I came into satsang 
because the master was going to help me you see but the minute we realized the instant we realized that actually the master is taking me beyond me then the me doesn't like that you see taking letting go of the faults you see we say from darkness to light or ignorance to truth but what is that there is only one ignorance the idea of limitation the idea of being personal you see so even freedom even enlightenment sounded very good to the person initially you see i i could really do with this <laughs> but the instant you realize that there is nothing that this me will get in fact it is the dissolution of this me many can't take it it becomes too hot in the kitchen and you feel like you have to run you see so i wanted to give my deep gratitude on this day to all of you as well because it is not easy to be open to the dissolution of this me you see it is not really easy for most as you meet yourself in this pure unmanifest reality where there is nothing for the me to hold on to you see there is a fear of death you see some have even uh, called it anxiety you see nausea you feel like uh, you're dying really many times you can feel like this but if you want truth greater than everything else if truth is really what you want then even this will be nothing for you and this may be is the highest reason why the guru is worth worthy of our devotion because he has crossed this mental barrier this he has taken this quantum leap he is already the cow who has jumped over the moon you see so to get their support in this uh, human life is a great blessing for us to have a master is the greatest blessing because both the manifest and the unmanifest are taken care of what else could you be concerned with